this is DJ Johnny at JDM FM and today I'm back continuing my history of Warrington and this is the sixth video in the Latchford series. I've previously covered all the area down to uh, Bridgefoot down there, down um, Nutsford Road all the way up and I'm now at the Black Bear Bridge. I'm going to have a quick look at the Black Bear Bridge. I'm going to go over the road and have a look down towards Wash Lane and have a look at what history we can find. Let's go and have a look. So this is the Black Bear Bridge. It's named after the Black Bear Inn or the Black Bear Pub, which used to be over the way and we, which we saw in my previous video. It's the bridge which used to cross the Old Key Canal or the Black Bear Canal. You can find out all about that on an earlier video that I did where DJ Johnny visits the Old Key Canal. Go and have a look at it on YouTube. But nonetheless, this bridge here uh, is actually a more modern bridge. The original bridge was a very narrow bridge when the canal was first built in 1804. It was a narrow bridge, but it had some steps going down, just down there. Now, people used to wait in the Black Bear pub uh, for the boats, the packet boats, which used to transport them all the way to Manchester in that direction, or to Runcorn, and then to Liverpool in that direction. They'd come down, they'd have a, uh, come down the steps, down the steps there, and get on the boats on the way to uh, the different cities, wherever they wanted to go to. Amazing. So when this bridge was built in 1925, it was built as part of the extension to the road. The road was made wider in 1925, and it meant that uh, the bridge, the small bridge that used to be there, had to be removed. And so they, they replaced it with this large bridge. The interesting thing about it is that on the parapets at the top, up there and up there, there used to be huge lights. They've disappeared now. I don't know when they've disappeared, but it's a shame because they did look quite pretty. Have a look at this picture. And you can still see these strips of metal on wood along the whole length of the underside of this 1925 bridge. And that was really just to protect the bridge itself from the ropes which used to be used for pulling the barges along with the horses as they went along towards Manchester in that direction or Liverpool in that direction. Amazing! But when the railways came along, uh, that put paid to the packet boats because it was a much, much quicker journey to the different cities, Manchester and Liverpool. So people didn't used to get the packet boats from here anymore. Ah. And this is the Richard Fairclough School, named after Richard Taylor Fairclough, who is the son of James Fairclough, the miller in Warrington, and I've mentioned before in my previous videos. And that's why the name became Dickie Flowerbags, where they used to call, that was, that was the nickname for this particular school. In 1944, it became Richard Fairclough Secondary Modern School. And then later on, in 1979, it became Richard Fairclough's High School. A little later on though, it, it merged with Boltler Grammar School, which is just over the way. And there's another story all about Boltler, which we'll do in another video. And when it merged with Boltler Grammar School, it became Victoria Park High School. It was that it continued then until 1988, uh, when sadly it wasn't needed anymore. So the, the school was moved all the way over to Thomas Boltler, where it still is today. And this building has, uh, became the property or the use of the National Rivers Authority through the North West Water Authority and now is the environmental agency uh, to look after our environment. Phew! It's a very potty history, but that's Richard Fairclough School. Amazing!
and this very busy road behind me here is called Holloway and it links uh, Wash Lane which is just there to Knutsford Road up there. The road was built just after Richard Fairclough's school was built uh, in the 1930s, just after uh, the, the school was built in 1934 uh, to help for vehicular access from Knutsford Road into the school itself. Now the sad thing about this road is it was named Halloway after Mr Augustus Halloway who was the town clerk of uh, Warrington Borough Council now after for written recognition to his services uh, a, a really prestigious thing to do uh, and a lovely thing to happen but sadly Mr Augustus Halloway was killed in a tragic accident in 1939 when he crashed into a wall just here and he died how sad how really really sad that Mr Halloway died on Halloway oh dear So the lane that I'm on now with uh, Christ Church over the other side of the road is called Wash Lane. Now Wash Lane is an absolutely ancient lane in Latchford, it really is. And in fact, it's the old north-south road where for travellers coming all the way from London, all the way through. Because just up there, down along uh, Wash Lane of that way, is the ford which I mentioned in my first video where we were talking about where, the, where they used to cross the river in those ancient, ancient days. So this is Wash Lane, and it was called Wash Lane, we believe, because it was always a wash. It was a wash with, uh, with water all the way around here, all the way on the west side of this, this road here. It used to be like a stream going down. I don't know where the stream came from. I tried to investigate it, but I can't find any records of the stream, but there used to be a stream here. I assume it's now underground. But um, it, the tide of the River Mersey, which is right up there, used to wash all the way up here when the tide came in and therefore the place was awash all the time and hence the name Wash Lane. Now the interesting thing about this place here, this is the, the, the place I'm, uh, I am now, uh, the building which is behind me is a fairly modern building but it used to be an ancient building built in 1651 and it used to be called the Plague House. So the Plague House uh, was actually a half-timbered building, a huge structure behind me. Uh, let's have a look at what it used to look like. It was Richard Warburton who built this house in 1651. Uh, it was a large, large house, half-timbered, beautiful old building and uh, but sadly all disappeared but the interesting thing is this wall <laughs> is still here it may actually not be the original wall but it does look a very very old sandstone wall now the interesting thing is it's called the plague house because uh, it's understood that people inside this building during the great plague uh, like not dissimilar to the pandemic we've got today uh, is that uh, they used to pay the money for the goods they used to get uh, by putting them in a stone in this corner here there's a coping stone at the top of the corner uh, it's actually now in Warrington Museum and in the coping stone there was a, a square hole which was dug out and they put vinegar and water in there so they could buy their, their goods by putting the money in the vinegar and water to disinfect it and then uh, other people could take the money out and give them the goods that they wanted without getting the plague and that's one of the reasons why they call this the Plague House. It's very sad that the building has now disappeared. It was in wreck and ruin and, uh, and now it's a more modern building there. But nonetheless, this is the Plague House. But the other interesting thing is at the back of the house, uh, Dr. James Kendrick, uh, you may remember from the Traveller's Rest Stones video I did a, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the same Dr. Kendrick, he was an archeologist and did lots of investigations around here. And in the 1800s, he was digging behind where the plague house used to be 
and he found some stones, some, some huge monolithic stones underneath the ground. And these were actually a burial chamber where we think was three bodies and we think they uh, had the plague. Uh, and they were found, they were just buried there. It was non-consecrated non ground uh, because they didn't want to move them anywhere. They just buried them quickly uh, under these stones to make sure other people didn't get the infection from the plague. Deary me. And this is Christchurch Latchford, a beautiful old Gothic style building which opened in 1861. It was built on land that was provided by Thomas Greenall of the brewery empire, Greenall's Brewery. And he got this land because he knew there was a need for a church, but also more importantly, a school with a growing population of Latchford in the early 1800s. He built the school, which was on the other side of this building, uh, but sadly, he died before the church was built. However, his family decided to continue to build the church and they had dedicated it to him. It opened in 1861, but it was still then a chapel of ease. You remember that this was still in the parish of Grappenhall and therefore parishioners used to originally travel to Grappenhall, not dissimilar to St. James's Church down the road. However, in 1866, it was given its own status of the parish of Christchurch, Latchford. And I'm just at the front of Christchurch here, uh, the beautiful spire which you can see going up into the distance there. Uh, the reason I've come around here is to show you that on the other side of the church, which is over there, that area there, those buildings there, are where the original uh, school was built to help to increase the number of schools in this area for the growing population of Latchford. Amazing! So the building behind me is the original Latchford School, which they built, which Thomas Greenall built, uh, which is this part of the building here, which is now covered in concrete at the, at the front. Uh, but this was the first part of it, and then it was extended in 1872 at the other part of the building, which is over there. This is Our Lady's Catholic School, which moved, if you remember from my previous video, uh, from St Mary Street up onto Wash Lane. And it moved here in the 1970s and continues to be a thriving primary school.
and I'm just at the railway bridge uh, on Wash Lane. Wash Lane's of course down there and we're going all the way here, the, the railway bridge. This railway bridge uh, uh, carries the old Warrington to Stockport line which we mentioned in my other videos going all the way from, from Bankey and that way all the way through from Wilderspool uh, and we're going to cover that in a, another video. Uh, I'm going to have to finish here today. Uh, there's just so much of Wash Lane that I could have talked about but uh, I'm going to finish here I'm going to continue on the other side of the railway bridge including the chippy in my next video. I believe the history that's associated with it but nonetheless rest assured I will continue on the other side of this bridge uh, in my next video whenever it comes and I suspect it might be when the weather gets a little bit brighter because it's getting a little bit dark and dismal at the moment in these winter months. Nonetheless, in this video, we've covered all around the Black Bear Bridge and the old packet boats which used to travel from Manchester to Liverpool. We've covered Dickie Flower Bags, Richard Fairclough Secondary School, which I know lots of people from the Latchford area used to go to. We've had a look at the, the old plague house, Blinking Eck, that old house which has now sadly disappeared, but the, uh, where they had the plague in those places. And also Christchurch Latchford, the beautiful Gothic building which we had a look at, and the school rooms. We've had a brief look at Our Lady's School, which moved from St Mary's Street in the 1970s. And now we're here at this bridge uh, where we're going to have to finish. <laughs> Been a long journey, but I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, this is DJ Johnny at JDMFM. And whatever you're doing, hope you have a fabulous time. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.